Hi, this is Dr. Robinson, and I'm here today with uh, telling you how to speed up and fix your very slow operating computer. The first one is checking on your uh, .NET to make sure it's actually updated. Uh, and if you're a, a developer, of course, you want to go ahead and go to the dot uh, dot net and go to your downloads folder, or um, and then you can pick and choose what you want. If you're just a regular user, I'm going to highly suggest going to ninite.com ninite, um, and you can get all your programs right here in one fell swoop. So you can use, if you're a screen reader user, you can hit X and go through all your options. But you want to pop down to find your .NET desktop runtime 6486. Now the way you know you need to download this is you're going to go into your control panel. So let's do that. I'm going to hit my Windows key, C-O-N. Hit enter on control panel, it opens. I'm going to type in PRO because I want to tab to my program and features and hit enter. Once I'm there, I'm going to control F and I'm just going to type in runtime and got to spell it correctly. There we go. And it instantaneously populates. My guess is you do not have eight yet. And nine is uh, actually it's out. It's in its beta version. Um, so it will be fully out by the end of the year. This is the end of the year of 2024. So if you watch this in the new year, you're already way behind. You need eight and six, uh, excuse me, eight and nine. Keep your six because uh, still some of your apps are utilizing that. So don't get rid of that. If you have older versions and you have a new updated Windows 11, you probably don't need the older versions. If you're a little scared about uninstalling it, it doesn't hurt anything to keep them. So it's no big deal. Um, I have uninstalled my old ones, but I am keeping my six and I downloaded eight. And this is how you know you need it. If you don't have eight, you need to go get it. And so I'm going to go ahead and close my programs and features. I'm at nine night now, and you can actually click, you're going to get your 64 and you have to have 86 also. Okay. So download those and you can jump to an alt A or you can tab and get your nine night or just down arrow and click with your mouse and click on that. And of course, uh, mine automatically download to my downloads folder. Uh, in your browser, Control J will immediately get you to your downloads folder if you want to go that route, or you can Windows E. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and click on my downloads. And there is my download on uh, runtime 8 installer. What's so wonderful about this is you can select 10 um, apps on the nanite.com and it will package the whole kit and caboodle. And it's a EXE and it will extract everything automatically for you. It's very quick. It is absolutely lovely. So once I close all of this and go back to my control panel, you can instantly see that everything is already there and loaded. As you saw, control F and runtime, and it's all loaded and you're, ha and you're good to go. Restart your computer on that. So another big one is, so if you want to speed up your network, this is how you do this. You're going to Windows R and you're going to type in percent temp percent. So if you don't know what your uh, percent is, shift number five, T-E-M-P percent and enter. Okay, so you're going to see probably hundreds, maybe even thousands. If you've never cleaned this out, you're going to have a lot and you're going to really have a significant increase in your network. I do a lot of remote uh, instruction, so I really want to make sure this is clean and we emphasize that with all our students also because we're connecting around the world. We need some good speed. You probably do also. So whether you're connecting remotely to someone uh, with a platform or you just want better speed in your computer, this is how you do it. You're going to do a control A. I'm going to do a shift delete because that is a permanent delete. I want it to bypass my recycle bin. If this makes you really, really nervous, just hit your delete. It will move all of this to your recycle bin, and then you can see how effectively it works, and then just go to your recycle bin and empty it. You can Windows M, hit R for recycle bin, applications key, or right click on it, and empty recycle bin also for speed. Right now, I'm gonna shift delete and get rid of this. And I only have 27 items in here because I am pretty diligent about cleaning this up. Uh, just picture you walking through your house with dirty and muddy shoes all the time. It just gets cluttered, and of course, eventually it, <laughs> becomes unpleasant. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to Alt A to do this for all current items. That's what the file and use box is. You cannot get rid of what you're actively using. If you're on your computer, guess what? You're actively using uh, files, and folder, files and folders. I'm going to Alt A. 
I'm going to Alt S to skip it so I don't have to keep telling it to skip, skip, skip. And I'm going to Alt S. And it cleans it up very quickly. Now you'll notice I had it told me I had 27. Well, that's files and folders. There's stuff in the folders also. So when it, when it cleaned, it actually said there was 90. No big deal. Keep that clean. And you're going to immediately notice a difference with that. The next big one is um, doing your updates. So Windows key, type in up and check for updates, populates, and hit enter. So I'm using my Windows 10 because my Windows 11 was completely, I've completely updated it already. So uh, tab continuously, get down to get the latest updates as soon as they're available and click that on. Anyone who's using screen readers or special applications um, other than just a regular user or just regular user, you keep your updates going and you're gonna find a huge noticeable difference in uh, the speed and quality of your computer. Uh, and then shift tab back to check for updates. Keep your computer updated. Uh, and of course, that is, there's security issues and .NETs that download. But you're going to notice that your .NET, most people who watch this, probably don't have eight. And uh, if this is in the new year of 2025, you probably don't have nine. So keep your .NETs um, updated because those are run times. Those are what make the programs work better. And they're also security issues. So you can go ahead and Alt F4 and close out of that. I'm going to go to Word next. So if you're using Office at all, and of course you want to do this at um, with all of your Office uh, programs, but it only takes one. So I'm going to Alt F to file. And my command is Alt F and then D, but yours might be uh, zero, zero, and then down arrow to account. So you go to file, you go ahead and go to um, account, and then you uh, tab over again here, update options, and down arrow to update now. Now, once again, if you're a screen reader user or using special applications, or you just want your um, office to work better, keep that updated. And that's another big one. And I'm gonna close out of there. So the next big thing is going to your task manager. I'm gonna control shift escape, and I'm gonna open my task manager. Uh, Windows up arrow to expand if visually you wanna see it really, really well. Um, and what you wanna do is you actually wanna control tab to your startup pane. And you want to down arrow and you want to hit your applications key and you want to disable anything that you don't actively use. Uh, and this is just for starting up your computer. So right here, you can see Microsoft Edge is starting up enabled high. And I'm going to hit my applications key and I'm going to actually disable that uh, or right click on it. You disable that from starting up with your computer. Guess what? Your computer is going to start up much, much faster. So that's a big one. Now I keep my OneDrive on. Yeah, it takes up a lot of use, uh, but hopefully you have enough RAM to really kind of kick it in. And of course, a, a wonderful um, you know CPU. But anyway, disable those startup apps. Uh, if you're a screen reader user, you absolutely want your screen reader showing up and you do not want to disable your audio because you want to hear those um, charges coming in. Uh, so that's a big one. But you can uh, easily go to your details and services. I am just going to tell you, and you can disable them. But the startup is the big one in order to have the speed of your computer uh, increase. Okay, so those are some of the tricks and tips um, on getting the speed um, on your computer, but also fixing how your apps are opening. And once again, those .NETs are pretty significant. Uh, and if you're a developer, of course, you want to add the other um, other big ones in there, the SDKs and ASPs, et cetera. Okay, I will see you in the next lesson.